today on Heavenly Grace Southern Home Cooking. We are going to be cooking our favorite country fried rider fish. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take five whole pieces of white fish and you're going to cut each piece into three. Okay, next thing you're going to do, you're going to take that, after you cut your right of fish up, you're going to take it, you're going to place it back into your bowl, and you're going to set that to the side, and while you're at it, you're going to go ahead, and you're going to move your cutting board, next thing we're going to do is, Get our batter mix for our fish mixed up. We're going to start out with two cups of cornmeal. There's one cup. There's two cups. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to put one tablespoon of Cajun season, one tablespoon. Into your cornmeal. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to do one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoned salt. One tablespoon. And you're going to put it into your cornmeal. We're going to set this to the side. And we're going to put our batter mix. We're going to go and mix our batter mix up. And nice and mix. Okay. We're going to set that to the side. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our whole white fish that we cut into three pieces. We're going to take that and we're going to take it and we're going to wrench it off. And the next thing we're going to do is put our season on our fish. Drain your fish out. Next thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to put another taste of Cajun season. You're going to spread it around on your fish. And 
next thing you're going to do, you're going to add a tablespoon, one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning salt. Onto your fish. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to mix it up. Keep on battering until you fill up your skillet. Get your skillet nice and full. And you don't want to overfill your skillet because you want to leave room around to rotate your fish. Get it nice and better. Keep it flipping it a couple times. Now that you flip it. Okay, we're well, going to be ready next start uh, cooking. We're going to set that to the side. We're going to rinse our hands. Got our fish cooking, and you want to let it cook first. Let it, let it cook. Let it at least cook on one side, at least for about one minute to two minutes on one side. Once it get it start cooking and getting a little brown. You're going to flip it over and let it stay on that side for at least about one minute to two minutes. And you can have, have this recipe, you can go to our website at www.hgg.com. 
Streaming Free TV dot com forward slash H G G W N and you can check it out. You can rewatch this video and we got recipes on there. Even this recipe is on there. If you want to get a copy of this, you can go to our website, like we said, or you can email us at hggwn at hggs streaming free tv dot com. Or you can contact us by mail at 1103 Nimitz Avenue, Talladega, Alabama, 35160. And we will send you this recipe. Thank you. And may God bless you. And we want the team to cook this. It doesn't got a little brown, so we're going to flip it. Don't let that cook. You're getting golden brown. Let that cook. While they're cooking, what we're going to do is we're going to get our plate to put our fish on. Take it up in the next few minutes. We're going to let it cook on this side, like I said, at least about one to two minutes on both sides. You don't want to let it old cook. You want the golden brown, and this this meal you can serve to special guests like for special occasions. In a special occasion, you can serve this to any guest at any special occasion. They will love the white fish, fried country style white fish. They will love it. It's good. I guarantee you, they will want more. They would really even want the recipe. And just send them to our website. We got we already have the recipe up. They can get the recipe at any time. And we want them to enjoy. We're going to flip it again. It's golden brown. And get me to take it up. We're going to turn our oven back down to the floor. You don't want to cook it too fast. Ball and brown. And we're going 
come back over here. You always want to mix your fish back up. Make sure it's good and seasoned. And you want to put it over into your batter mix. Get it battered real good. Get the edges. Before you want to let it cook on one side for at least at least one minute to two minutes. But I just go and brown, so we're gonna go and start flipping it.
You're going to set this back to the side. And we're going to do the same, repeat the st same step. You're going to miss your fish back up. Get that good season on there. And get it messed up good in your batter. And you always want to battle one piece at a time. And you always remember, you don't want to get it. Your skill all full. You want to just make sure you leave about one inch of room in your skillet for your fish to rotate take and be able to flip it. Gonna set that to the side. Gonna wash your hands. And gonna set that to the side. And we're going to let this cook about at least one more minute. And while it's cooking, one more minute, we're going to flip it over and we're going to let the other side just go around for one to two minutes. And after that, we're going to flip it over for 15 more seconds and make sure it's cooked real, real done. And we're going to take it and put it on top fish pan and set it back to the side. Let it cook at least about one to two more minutes. And then you're going to want to flip it back over like I said before. At least let it give it 15 more seconds. We got a special tartar sauce recipe that we're gonna be doing on on this show today, and we got a, some special hush puppies we're gonna be making. So don't go away. Just stay tuned for more great recipes on today's show. Like I said, we're gonna get ready to. Flip it over for that 15 seconds. As we get it flipped over for 15 seconds, I do let it, you're going to, next thing you're going to do, you're going to let it drain and you're going to put it onto your pan. And flip it for the 15 more seconds. Okay, got that ready. You're going to bring your fish pan back over. And you're going to take it up, go and brown. We're going to set it to the side, our country style, fried fish, fried fried fish. Okay, we set that to the side. Stay tuned for more great recipes on today's show. We are back. We get ready to make our tartar sauce for our country fried style, fried fish. First of all, you're going to start by putting one and a half cup of mayonnaise into a missile bowl. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put a half a cup of sweet radish. You're going to pour them over into your mayonnaise. 
and you're going to mix it up, get it nice and mixed up real nice.